I get that not everyone is creatively inclined. So even if your writing would get laughed off the YIF board at Fur Affinity, even if you draw like Michael J. Fox after a triple shot espresso, you can still cover the creative revolution. You can still be passionate about it in public. Look, we're making the new counterculture whether they want it or not. So who's gonna run the non-woke answer to Newsarama or the non-autistic IGN? Who's gonna moderate the non-retarded version of Reddit? cornucopia of commie culture cocksuckers, it would seem that some founding fathers of the new age revolution of non-Marxist storytelling and fantastic fucking personalities have inspired a generation, a new generation, a millennial generation. Oh, fuck, that's me. But nevertheless, we should always understand that what is in front of us is history in the making. And that is something that just inspired the absolute living hell out of me. And so that is why I want to talk about something that I saw on Twitter. Yes, folks, we're going back to Twitter. Why are you going back to Twitter? Why are you so obsessed with Twitter? Because that's where fucking people talk. Okay, and when people talk about Twitter, it would seem, or what's on Twitter, it would seem that we are in fact making culture, but in the way that nobody thought we would. So, let's go over to Razorfist Twitter because I want to show you all something. And I totally forgot to pull this up and I completely screwed up an awesome video, but that's okay. You guys are here anyway. So just, you know, be here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Life is fine. It's fine. But what I want to talk about is Iron Age Media. Now, Iron Age Media seems to be exactly what we have been needing. So let's go blow that up and here we go. All right, new review from Katie Francis on Dan the Destructor by Rob DCM at Iron Age Media. Read below. So we have here the Iron Age Media, Dan the Destructor, Conan, uh, Conan Ice, uh, Isaac edition. I, 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 I don't. By Catherine Francis. This is a website dedicated to everything that we need in this fan culture. This is a website completely dedicated to covering the new, the great, the amazing. Look at this here. Ripaverse, Death Mask. These guys came on and said, you know what? We are going to be a part of the Iron Age because we fucking are the Iron Age. And I just got done watching a Razor Fist video. So it's really hard not to just want to just let my inner Razor Fist out. <laughs> but look at all of this. We have people out here. They're writing the articles. They are doing something that we desperately need. We need something in this space. We need the next I, 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 comicbook.com that decides that they want to talk about something other than cultural Marxism and the flamboyant, can't say that word, the flamboyantness, sorry, <laughs> I was going to use another F word there. The flamboyantness of the modern day Marvel and DC comics. And they have decided to come out swinging and they are doing articles here. I would let's, this is just one of their newest ones here. So let's click on this. This happens to be, look at that artwork. That's something you won't see in a Marvel or DC comic. After an initial foray into Pulp Fiction, I set my sights on Dan the Destructor next. This is the first entry in the Barbarians of the Storm series and a bit of a trip down memory lane as well. Uh, dense and, brasky, uh, dense and bre briskly paced, uh, this entry follows the origin of Dan, a man dragged into the 
into a new dangerous and savage world by the machinations of an evil wizard. And let's go into seeing what their mission is, because they do actually have their mission statement here. Their mission, welcome to Iron Age Media. The link will be in the description for this website. You need to click on this. You need to support them. You need to read their articles. If you guys are a creator and you're coming up with something, these are the people that you need to lift up and send your stuff to and promote. The They are the ones who are helping to build the Iron Age in a way that I only wish that I could, okay? Creators today face a unique challenge. Their access to create physically or digitally across the globe has never been greater. While institutions and industry giants increasingly produce a derivative and propagandistic content. Although this should be a recipe for success, creators struggle as those same media giants dominate access to the average consumer. To overcome these hurdles, Iron Age Media's primary goal is to help independent Independent creators build networks of their own and usher in a new era of creative form. The currency of real networking is not greed, but generosity. Keith Ferrazzi. So what does this mean? What does this mean for Isom? What does this mean for Razor Fist and his pulps, which I still have to buy? What does this mean for Shadowversity and what he's doing with Shadow of the Conqueror? What does this mean for... For Clownfish TV and Crimson Wren and their Shadowbinders books, which um, are upstairs. And I would show them on screen, but I, they're, they're upstairs. This means that we have creators out there. Writers, people who may not be the best at writing, but they're willing to cover it. We have to build these media outlets. We need to build the YouTube channels. We need to build the news articles. We need to build the content to surround the Iron Age creators and make sure that they have the support, not just in our dollars. I used to say, you wanna support people, you support them with money and still do that. Still support them with your money. But the other thing that you can do is you can pass along all of the news articles, all of the reviews, all of these things, all of the YouTube channels. I mean, mine, if you would like to, if you like what I'm doing, if you don't like what I'm doing, if you hate what I'm doing, whatever. But the Iron Age is upon us. The creative revolution is upon us. And we have found ourselves in a cultural revolution that seems to be sweeping the standard people by storm. People are coming back and saying, I miss this. I want good storytelling. I just want to have some escapism. And these people are providing the escapism and they are providing the news for everyone. So I would welcome everybody out there to go check out Iron Age Media. I think they had the same idea that I did. I think that Iron Age Media decided right around the time that I decided that, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to make the website. We're going to do the news articles. We're going to do the reviews of these comics. We are going to discuss these creators. And that is something that cannot be tossed to the side. Just like this channel, if you come here, you need to go there. Read these reviews. Send them to your friends. Say, hey, if you look at this review that I saw of this book, it is so fantastic. They're short reads. They're not that bad. Involve your friends who are into comics as well in what is happening in the Iron Age because I promise you, you will not regret it. It is something that should absolutely be celebrated. The creative influence and the massive amount of inspiration that these people are giving to thousands around the world is something that we should invigorate with our voices, with our writing skills, with our, artis with our artistry. If you can do fan art, which I've seen tons of fan art for Isom out there, if you can uh, do short stories to honor the characters, pay homage to them, come up with your own fanfic for God knows what else. Hell, I mean, if you've got the body for it, maybe do some Rule 34 stuff on the internet with you and your lady and, you know, do it Isom themed. Don't do that. That's a joke, please, for the love of God. But we need to have fans. You get what I'm saying, right? They need to have the fans back them. They need the YouTube channels. They need the news websites. 
They need the reviewers. They need the critics that support them and give them an honest shake. No, not that kind of shaky, dirty, dirty people, but the good kind of shake, the kind of shake that promotes you. So never forget, the Iron Age is upon us. And with that being said, welcome to A Drink With Crazy, everybody. My name is Royce. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I absolutely would love it if you guys would hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and honestly comment down below. I should say ring the notification bell. It'd be fantastic if you would ring the notification bell too, but comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. How are you involved in the Iron Age? What are you doing? Are you creating the books? Are you reviewing the books? Are you sharing? Do you have a YouTube channel? What is going on with you and your Iron Age moment? Let me know down in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you all next time right here. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.